the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3. Let's hurry up. Zechariah 1 verse 3. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you. Can I tell you, don't expect God to turn to you if you have not turned to him. You turn to him as a sign of your desperation. As a sign of your desperation. There is, there is nothing so, there is nothing as powerful as a believer coming to God and saying lord thank god for all these things i have my business connections thank god for the intelligence i have degrees i have all of this but i stand before you oh god and i acknowledge that if you do not open a door in this abuja that door will not be opened if you do not open a door it will not be open and god says in spite of all these things you still have the sense to look unto me now the bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened do you know why several people especially in this season continue to fall victims of shame and the rest in spite of whatever qualifications i will tell you why because when god wants to use people he uses you in a way that all men will see that it is his power at work in you and if for any reason you have the tendency of pushing him in front of the stage light you will not do business with god over dependence on the strength of the flesh over dependence we have to repent of this pride not just men of god i tell you this this our generation is so arrogant building of empires it is by my strength every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day we have to be careful there is the god who sits the monarch of the universe and we must be careful let's our preachers let's be careful as god keeps doing mighty things through our lives we must be careful let members know we are men it's just that we are of god this this system of self-glorification there is a difference between honor and pride go and read your bible and see what happened to people who refuse to acknowledge god we give you the highest the highest praise to the king I give you the loudest, yeah. I lift my holy hands, I give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King, I give you worship, worship, You have taken all the pain You have taken all the sorrows You have taken all limitations You have taken all the tears You have made them yours Listen Lesson number one this night If you want God to use you this year Let your knees be close to the ground when men clap for you and say you built this house in two months you bought this house 500 million like buying a recharge card the moment you want the devil to help and massage your back satan kills don't forget he's a thief he will first clap for you before he kills you may this be the year where god will heal through you man of god 
and when people begin to idolize you you say listen i thank god for using me but let me tell you sincerely there is one who is mightier than i am i'm only a vessel over dependence business people let me encourage you the person talking to you is not stupid god gave us brains that is true but there is something about depending on him god knows that i depend on him this ministry depends on him for everything we may not know everything it takes to succeed from a psychological standpoint from a from an intellectual standpoint and we will continue to learn but can i tell you and the lord walking with them that was the secret confirming the word with signs following you think technology can turn hiv uh, positive to negative just like that thank god for the advancement in medicine and gynecology and all of these things have you not seen people who have tried everything and yet no child this is a message god is speaking to someone already the day you stop depending on your power can i tell you go and carry your certificate go and carry your your real estate company registration drop it on the ground and say lord you are exalted above it you are exalted above it you are carry your id card i know you work with world bank i know you work with all drop it on the ground and say lord i depend on you let the mockers laugh at you while you are depending on him and he continues to lift you we give you worship worship the highest praise to the king we give you worship worship the highest praise to the king we bow down we bow down the deepest worship to the king we lift up holy hands read your bible and see why god or not solomon so much there's no time i would have shown you there are two reasons why god lifted solomon one was because of his sacrifice but two was because of the nature of his dependence in asking for god gave him a a blank check what do you want including your enemies he did not say give me wisdom go and read it he said lord are you see you know the kind of person you have called as limited as i am like this I am unable to lead this your people so please grant unto your servant an understanding heart and the bible says it please the lord he said because you have not asked for this or the life of your enemies of this and that and that you have asked for understanding to discern judgment he said i will give you verse 12 now says i will give you all of these things and understanding had so that there is no man like you that in in addition to this i will give you the things you have not asked for both riches and honor that means riches and shame can go together dependence Apostle, I just got an award. I came back from Harvard. I'm the best student. It's impossible for Nigeria to reject me. <laughs> you go and read about your country. Someone can be in his room just crying and say, Lord, this is not self-condemnation. I hope you understand what I'm teaching you. Yes. carry everything when go and learn the mystery of the worship of the elders the 24 elders did they have to remove their crowns to worship why didn't they worship with their crowns i thought the most important part of worship is your knees go and learn from them your knees are useless until your crown is on the ground many of us are kneeling down with our crown and god is saying so who is king now
we pray that God will raise extremely successful people who will teach the nations dependence that when people are asking you and say how did you build this thing you can tell them all the principles and then wrap up by saying can I tell you there are gaps in this equation that even me I don't know the answer I just know that one plus one was there wisdom plus divine direction plus relationships plus diligence plus discipline plus God equal to my answer many times people try to ask me the secrets of this the secrets of that and I share with them principles I share with you principles but from the beginning to the end of my sharing I can tell you that there are gaps in our knowledge that only the size of God can fill. preacher you will not build a church just by principles you can be the most sincere person with character and integrity and nobody will still come to your church you can preach truth heaven hell rapture doctrine with soundness of scripture and remain there as if God did not call you I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the king of kings and lord of lords you are the king you are the lord your royal majesty listen let me teach you something that i do in the night sometimes don't just worship god by lying down on the ground <clears throat> one of the ways that you worship god is to worship him in the presence of what wants your worship it's a powerful mystery i don't just worship god alone like that sometimes i carry every a representation of everything that looks like accolades we all worship together whatever wants my worship must join me in worshiping god that is one of the ways to overcome the temptation of worshiping things so if it is your wallet i'm not saying idolize it your id card your promotion letter don't lie down and leave it on the table lie down with it lord this is what you have done for me and someone is calling you and saying you are now the ceo tell them wait but you are wasting time this is how i became the ceo please <laughs> Sujada ne nakao Sirkin salama Can I tell you this? Let me give you an assignment by God. Every home and every individual try to take at least a day in this week. If you can't do it with your family, do it alone this busy busy hustling going up and down trying to do this you sit down in someone to the front of someone's office from morning till night and then they drive you again come back listen 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 sometimes we need to go back and just worship we are a people of prayer but we must also be a people of worship it is not just prayer alone learn worship if you can't sing let something sing for you that's the importance of technology give technology the assignment to sing for you and join you as you worship your maker and you bow before him and say lord it is because of you i am here and while you are saying it your wallet is hearing your atm is hearing you force them to join in that worship and god says this is for me now let me do for you what you cannot do for yourself you are done with that worship you pick up your phone and see missed calls and text messages and you are wondering this man i've been trying to call believe what i'm teaching you i will not waste your time this night these are these are mysteries you want to command results 
that will preach to a territory next sunday's miracle service people are coming with all kinds of burdens i'm not a herbalist how in the world do you think you are going to touch people and pray from here and people all over the world get healed get blessed let me tell you after i'm done praying this ground is a blessing you roll there and say oh god who but you is able to heal and bless and help and lift and in that atmosphere of worship that shekinah just comes to man to you and it's like electricity from head to toe and head to toe and there are all kinds of impartations yours is just to stay there you come out of that atmosphere the only thing that comes from you is fire from head to toe preachers i'm not i'm not you can't sit down and watch a movie by morning and quickly just get up and take your bath and come for a miracle service and say, after all is jesus doing it did you tell him you know he's the one doing it I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart Lord I will bow to you to no other God but you We have to rush please sit down key number one that has stopped believers from experiencing the mighty hand of god over dependence on the strength of the flesh if most people will pray and study their bible and worship one tenth with one tenth of the passion they used to run around humans for help they will not be in the same position there can i tell you everything you get minus god will kill you no matter how important it is to you if you have to drop god to get it it's only a matter of time yeshua hamashiach everything belongs to you belongs to you fathers don't go to your house and bully your wives and children and say listen i built this house if i were stupid this house would not be built god says ah okay maintain it children i'm the one taking care of the parents don't talk to me anyhow it's my money i can stop sponsoring you and you wake up by morning and that hand that you used to lift against your parents because of what you are giving does not lift again and god says heal yourself there is nothing as ugly as self-righteousness trying to believe that it is just it is just by merit it is true that there is a price for these dimensions but can i tell you the truth we have to let the world know you see the regions that have rejected jesus for technology this is not the first time men are rejecting jesus for other things they rejected jesus and chose barabbas if people can reject jesus and choose crime only god knows what else they can reject him for crucify him they said give us barabbas we know he's a thief but we choose him to jesus people have chosen technology to jesus people have chosen education to jesus people have chosen the philosophies of men to jesus and you see the catastrophe that is happening around the world today because by the strength of man shall no man prevail this earth is old everybody is a tenant 
some people came and passed for us to be here they passed and they left their lessons of wisdom or foolishness they left it behind there is the god who is the monarch of the universe we must return back to acknowledging jesus publicly directly number two what is the second reason why believers are not able to experience mighty works remember what we are dealing with the witness of mighty works that when you want to command salvation over territories there needs to be levels of results from your life and that the first reason why we do not have the mighty works that can witness can preach to the territory is because of over dependence on the strength of the flesh number two ignorance and disobedience to god's principles now we can talk principles ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 let's hurry up ecclesiastes 10 and verse 15 the labor of the foolish where yet how many of them every one of them because he knoweth not how to go to where so there is a relationship between where he's going to the city he intends to go to the city but how to go to the city is what he does not know the labor of the foolish weary at every one of them because he knoweth not how to go to the city Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 popular scripture it says having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness here it is again the blindness blindness of their hearts can i tell you this anybody who wants to rise and to excel in this kingdom in that order once you have acknowledged the god of heaven the next thing you must understand and learn is jesus the way jesus the way is a capture of the methodologies the modus operandi of the kingdom it says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death jesus the way you can learn the ways of god to a life of excellence and a life of glory the bible leaves us with two options as far as obtaining results is concerned we see that in egypt in the presence of pharaoh we see that all through scripture that there is god's way or the kingdom's way of doing things please look up and there is the world's way of doing things moses had a way that god taught him to produce results janus and jambers the magicians of egypt had their way there are two options all men will have in this earth as far as producing results is concerned you can follow the way of the devil the way of men or you can follow the way of the kingdom the result listen to me the result is the side effect that comes with whatever way you choose for instance the bible says it is the blessing of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow it gives you that information because there is another pathway that can seem to bless you and with it come with sorrow are we learning isaiah chapter 31 i believe verse 1 to 3 it talks about the way of egypt woe to them that go down to egypt for help look up please woe to them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek the lord verse 2 yet 
he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words but will arise against the house of evil doers and against the help of them that walk iniquity verse 3 it says now the egyptians are men and not god ah now you be god almighty god you know be my lord you know now you be god almighty god you know be my lord please keep that scripture there verse 3 31 verse 3 he says now these egyptians this ambassador this senator this apostle you are trusting in amen and not god he said and their horses flesh and not spirit when the lord shall stretch out his hand both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is helped shall fall they shall fall together do you know what he's telling you the vanity of following the ways of men that both the one who claims he can show you the road and you who is following the road under a certain circumstance both of you can fall before you follow what men are telling you look at what they are following if they are not following the principles of the kingdom they are only wasting your time it's a matter of time and you will find out you've been wasting your time are we together i've spent my life learning the ways of the kingdom and i will continue to do this for as long as i live because i have found out that the ways of the kingdom is not really very easy to learn in truth because you will need discipline and diligence you will need a long time to understand the dynamics of the workings of the kingdom but if and when you pay that price by god and learn it your life will become invincible it will be you will be a sign and a wonder and the thing about this kingdom truth is when you hold the keys you've held them it's true we have giant doors that close this great auditorium and those doors open at the instance of keys not physical strength you can be so macho and strong and yet you will stand helpless in front of these doors from morning till night simply because a key you can put inside your pocket was missing are we together as as big as a truck is it is a key that kicks it and that key the driver can put it in his pocket but god help him to forget where the key is the petrol tank can stand there full of petrol but it will not move fine engine fine tires beautiful car even a new one but because there was no key it will stand there when somebody wants to present to you the gift of a car what does he give you why does he give you the paint of the car he now comes to tell you look your car is outside but here is the car then he gives you a key and you say thank you for giving me the car you don't say thank you for giving me the keys because when he gave you the keys he gave you the car are you getting what i'm telling you now this is very powerful jesus said and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and with those keys you will bind that means disallow and with those keys you will lose that means allow it is at the instance of the mysteries of the kingdom that we reign we rise and we thrive i believe in the mysteries of the kingdom I have taught you here that mysteries control results in this kingdom there are mysteries that control wealth and prosperity there are mysteries that control longevity and joy there are mysteries that control increase all of this come by god and you can learn the ways of god you can submit yourself 
and learn the ways of God. This is the assignment of the preacher, Jeremiah 3.15. To feed you, he says, with knowledge and understanding of what? The mysteries of the kingdom. Matthew 13 and verse 11, Jesus was speaking and he said, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Believers, results in this kingdom are not accidental. Sustainable results haven't charged you to acknowledge Jesus above results. He has set that principle for us that God is also the God of systems. Please say systems. There is the systemic nature of the kingdom. You would notice from the Bible that God will hardly do the same thing twice. When he does it once, he will build a system within it for continuity. He's never had to create man and woman again. He only did that once and programmed within them a system for continuity. The same thing, everything we eat today, it does not fall from heaven necessarily. He created a system. Your seed, the earth, water, and a system of nourishment for the seed, leave the rest to God. Just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, or the way of the wind, it says so also you do not know the way of God. There are dimensions of the ways of God that you cannot learn intellectually. But the ones you can learn, you must learn it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I obtain grace to be a student of the mysteries of the kingdom. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I obtain grace to be a student of the mysteries of the kingdom. Wishing and hoping will not produce results no we must submit ourselves to strategic learning strategic learning can i tell you this year of marvelous life don't waste it write out every aspect of your life where you are not sure of the mysteries that control that result and become a spiritual archaeologist researching one by one what is this thing about this finance don't start january to december hustling running up and down again and hoping i know it will work i just made a slight mistake last year no your mistake is a report card it tells what you were thinking go back to the word there has to be a way and the holy spirit leads you to a message and you listen to that message and light comes and you wave that realm goodbye and it waves you why do i have just 100 members respectfully speaking not that crowd necessarily is a measure of success why do i have just 200 members why do people come and go there must be something i do not know the bible says in proverbs 18 and verse 1 it says through desire a man having separated himself he said he seeketh and intermeddled with all wisdom it takes desire and passion why do I keep experiencing disfavor in my life? People like me today, they don't like me tomorrow. There has to be consistency and predictability to this. Open my eyes that I may see. Man of God, why is it that you seem to see the power of God in this meeting? And then in another meeting, it looks like you are almost a suspect of using divination because nothing, absolutely nothing happens. You finish a meeting that is powerful and blessed people were healed. Another meeting, they are praying that you finish and go because they don't understand what is going. This inconsistency and amateurism can be solved when you gain mastery. It says, he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully. Are we together? Obedience is powerful and light is powerful. Two scriptures and then we'll move to the next point. Deuteronomy chapter 7. We'll read from verse 12 to 15. Deuteronomy chapter 7. Please write it and look up. Deuteronomy 7, 12 to 15. Wherefore it shall come to pass if ye hearken to these judgments and keep and do them that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swear unto your fathers and he will love thee and bless thee 
and multiply thee and he will bless the fruit of thy womb do you know what the fruit of your womb is the fruit of your womb is your child the fruit of your womb is your ideas your mind is also a womb i hope you know that so don't think he's just talking about women alone and you can give birth to a child that you say why did i not hear god and not even give birth to this child because of the trouble he he, he can give you but the bible says he can bless it's one thing to have the fruit of your womb your idea your child but it's one thing for it to be blessed it says he will bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land thy corn thy wine thy oil the increase of thy kind the flocks of thy sheep and the land which he swear unto the fathers to give thee it says thou shalt be blessed above all people and there shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle as you say amen say amen to two things amen to the grace for obedience and amen to what i'm saying because if you are just saying amen to what i'm saying i hate to be the bearer of bad news but you will say amen and perhaps sadly you may not see it manifest amen means let it be so let it be so that i will obey and let it be so that i will see what the lord has said are we together obedience Deuteronomy chapter 28 we'll read verse 2 to 7 then jump to 11 and 12 let's hurry up is someone learning tonight and all these blessings shall come on thee now say amen, amen. and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord that's the condition verse 3 the Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face they shall come out against thee one way and flee before these seven ways and the lord shall make thee plenteous in goods in the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle the fruit of thy ground and the land which the lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee deuteronomy chapter we are reading to seven and then we'll jump to 11 and 12. okay let's go to 11 quickly did you read 2 to 7? Okay, let's just finish 12 for sake of time. Give us 12. And the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heavens, to give thee rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. I know that many of you will not believe this that was written, but believe me, everything God wrote, he meant it. You must obtain grace from God to fight ignorance, fight it thoroughly this year, and then obtain the grace for complete obedience. Are we together? Number three, what is the third reason why believers are not able to produce mighty works that become witnesses to territories? Are you ready? Demonic oppression demonic oppression yes sir ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 ephesians 6 and verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood the bible says but against principalities powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places first john chapter 5 and verse 19 tells us we are of god and the whole world lies in wickedness there is no part of the world that is spared it says the whole world lieth in wickedness in first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8 popular scripture first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8 am i right on that is it 8 or 8 18 first thessalonians 2 18 i desired to come to you wherefore we would have come to you even i paul once and again read it with me but satan hindered us but satan 
hindered us satan can fight men can fight their influence their joy their visibility can fight the giftings of god in their lives can fight ministries businesses families dreams visions satan can try to hinder men the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is an adversary that is out determined to thwart everything that is god in our lives satan will not fold his arms and watch you continue to excel he will not fold his arms and watch ministry excel family excel your career excel your visibility excel he will make attempts to see that he fights it demonic oppression the bible encourages us to put the full armor of god or the whole armor of god there's there's even a there's even a teaching a teaching series on that the whole armor of god i will be explaining to you what the bible means when it says the whole armor of god because you can put some when satan looks at you spiritually there is what he's looking at and when he finds a place that is not fortified and covered that becomes his entrance point so the bible says no weapon fashioned against you fashioning requires creativity observation are we together yes so the bible talks of the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness and all of that he, he the, the entire formation he calls it the whole armor of god he says on the strength of that whole armor you will be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy the strategies of the enemy dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline